Hey guys, Justin Goff, and in this video, I'm going to share with you three little known traffic sources that will put people with money on your list. That After all, that's who you want on your list. You want people that actually buy things from you. So we're going to go over the old school traffic source that sent me 100 to 120 buyers a day with zero ad spend. This one's really, really, really kind of cool. You guys are going to like this. Second one, how to legally siphon leads and buyers from your competition's thank you page. Last but not least, how to duplicate your leads onto a second email list so you make twice the money. This is something that I call list splintering. All the biggest direct response people do it. I'm going to show you how to do it as well. So let's jump right in. So first one, first traffic source that puts people with money on your list. This is a very old school traffic source and it is radio. So back in 2015, uh, I had a supplement called Patriot Power Greens. It was selling like crazy. Um, and we started experimenting with radio ads. So we bought a 60 second radio spot on Rush Limbaugh's show. Our buyers were pretty much the same as his demographic, 60, 70 year old conservative people. And uh, so we bought this 60 second spot in the show. We sent them to a free plus shipping long form sales page. Nothing like, this is the same one we were running through email traffic and Facebook ads, the exact same page. Uh, Basically a free offer, they pay $4.95 for shipping. We gave them a little trial thing of our greens powder. Then the upsells on that offer sold them on buying the full bottles of the supplement at the full price. And that converted really, really well. So that was the offer that we were doing. Now what's really cool is I wanna show you the ad that we ran. Uh, what's funny about this ad, we had to get this ad to them really quickly and didn't have enough time to uh, get a voiceover person. So I literally just recorded it my, myself on my MacBook. I don't think I even had a microphone at the time. I didn't have headphones. I didn't have like a studio. I literally just recorded it and you'll be able to tell from the quality. It's not great quality. But what's interesting is it freaking crushed. Uh, so I'm gonna play it for you so you have a little idea of what that radio ad sounded like. Something shocking just happened in a Coast Guard unit in San Diego. The old guys in the unit have turned the tables and are now destroying the young bucks in head-to-head -head fitness tests. How is this even possible? Turns out the old guys in this unit have been part of a special test group for a doctor-formulated fountain of youth drink called Patriot Power Greens. Patriot Power Greens has been so effective for many of the older soldiers that it's made their achy joints, stiff muscles, and lack of energy a thing of the past. Previously, this drink was only available to elite military units. But for a limited time, you can try Patriot Power Greens absolutely free. All we ask is that you chip in a few bucks to help cover shipping. But you must act fast. Due to the high demand from members of the Coast Guard, our supply is extremely limited right now. To claim your free sample packs of Patriot Power Greens, go to greens123.com. That's greens123.com. Greens123.com. So that's the whole ad. And as you can see, uh, the quality on it, like I said, is not very good. There's popping, there's echoes, the volumes at different levels throughout it. It just not great at all but what's really interesting is that ad just crushed for us on radio and not just the radio thing is what i want to tell you about the radio is really cool but what i want to show you is how we got it to the point where we weren't even buying ad space and we were getting that ad to run so basically we started off paying remnant rates so remnant rates is basically the ad reps at the radio station sell all their ad space, whatever they have left over, they sell it to you at a, at a remnant rate, which is the cheapest rate you can get it. Uh, so we started off paying remnant rates and whatever they had openings, we would put our ads in there. We'd run, we'd get 100 to 120 buyers. Now here's what's really cool. Once we knew the ad was working, we worked out a deal with the ad rep where if they ever had open inventory, and this happened a lot, they had open inventory a lot of time, they could just run our ad and we would pay them $40 for every sale as an affiliate. So basically this turned from us paying for ad space into us having literally no risk at all uh, getting our ad being played on the radio station. And literally every time they ran the ad, we were bringing in 100, 120 new buyers, somewhere in that range every single time. So. Uh, yeah, anytime this, this station had open space, uh, and they didn't know how to fill it, they would just put our ad in and we would pay them per sale. And, uh, it was a win-win because we made money and, uh, instead of them having nothing to run, they made money as well. So 
The other big thing I want you to take away from this is radio buyers are very, very different than buyers that you get from something like Facebook or TikTok. Radio buyers are people with money uh, and they have a huge lifetime value. Like I, I don't remember the exact specifics, but if you compared the lifetime value of a radio buyer to someone from Facebook, it was like 40% higher. They were just a much, much better buyer. Uh, they spent more money up front. They spent more money on the back end. Uh, just much higher quality buyer. Um, so kind of the big takeaway here is, like I said, I know radio is not the sexiest thing. It's not Instagram. It's not TikTok. But it's an absolute monster when it comes to making sales and putting people with money on your email list. And in the end, that's what you really want. You want people that have money and that continuously buy things over and over again. One last bonus tip I'll give you here. The best performing radio ads we ever did were simply our best email ads that we turned into radio ads. So everything we ran on the radio that worked well, we just took the copy from uh, from an email that, that did really well for us. And we would kind of change it a bit because you had to fit it into like a 60 second radio spot. But 90% of it was the exact same um, as the as the email copy. And then we just sent them to that URL that you heard at the end, greens123.com, uh, something that's easy and they're able to remember. Um, and that, like I said, that worked like crazy. So if you want to put people with money on your list, uh, radio is a great, great way to do that. All right, so that was the first one. Second one, how to legally siphon leads and buyers from your competition's thank you page. Very sexy. So... The thank you page is usually one of the most underused parts of a funnel by most offer owners. I'm going to show you an example of this. This is from my friend, Mike Geary, super smart marketer. So he sells this book on basically healthy eating for people with diabetes, uh, teaches them how to eat better so that they have way less kind of health problems with their diabetes and their blood sugar. This is the thank you page. So after they bought it, they went to the checkout page, they went through the upsells. This is the final page that they hit. And he has a couple different offers on here. So this one is basically, if you click on any of these links, it's talking about anti-inflammatory foods. So let's say we click on the link and it takes us to a VSL for some type of inflammation that's uh, hitting on knee, hip, and back pain. So that's one of them. Another one here, uh, a blood sugar thing. So this is going to go to a VSL about something that would help with blood sugar, I'm assuming. Yep. So there you go. And then he's got a third one here that's talking about diabetes death drinks. I believe this is Joe Barton from Barton Publishing. Yep. So it's a VSL selling you some type of uh, blood sugar, probably info product, I'm assuming. But anyways, I wanted to show this to you because here's what's interesting. Thank you pages like this. Mike does a great job of putting offers on here and monetizing his thank you page. Most marketers are not as smart as Mike and they're not monetizing their thank you pages like this. So something you can do to get really, really good people on your list, people with money, is to get your offer get or get your opt-in on people's thank you pages. Uh, another good example, this one actually is right before the thank you page. So right when you're coming out of a funnel, it's basically, would you like one of these free reports? And they already have your email address. So once you click this, uh, you're going to get these free reports. Um, it's just a great, great way to, like I said, get new people onto your email list. So like the people running this do not own these. This is basically, they're an affiliate for this and they're probably paying them a couple dollars for every new email that they send to these people. Um, so yeah, like I said, the thank you page, really, really good. The big thing idea behind the thank you page is the only people that are seeing it are buyers. Uh, so these are people who spent money, could be 50 bucks, could be 100 bucks, could be 200, whatever it is. Somebody who whips out a credit card and buys something from you is the or buys something from someone in your niche is the type of people that you want to get on your list, which is why getting your whatever it is, your opt-in, your lead magnet, your um, low ticket offer on somebody's thank you page. It's just a really, really great way to um, get new people onto your list. So, and like I said, it's, it's a win-win situation because it makes money for them. It's something that's usually not being used by them. And it also puts 
people on your list. So big, big win-win. So thank you, Page Offers. I'm a huge fan of those. All right, last one here. How do you use list splintering to duplicate your leads onto a second email list so that you make two times the money? This is a really, really cool one. So most of the big direct response brands, they have their main list that you buy something from them or you opt in, you get put on this main list. And they also have a secondary list that has all the same email addresses on it. And I'll show you a good example of this. So the Alternative Daily, they're a huge player in the kind of like natural remedies, alternative health space. This is a typical kind of newsletter that they send out. It's got links to like baking soda article on their blog. This is actually a an ad. They put ads down here. Then they have more links to, <clears throat> to blog posts. So like I said, this is alternative daily. You can see the branding on the top of the web or on the top of the email. They also have people on this list, which is called Tropical Health. Uh, this is one where they're sending out, this is just a straight promo um, for something for Dr. Gundry, which is a health supplement. So like I said, instead of just getting put on one list, you get put on two lists. And the reality is that if you get put on two, when you put people on two lists, they just end up buying more stuff. That's really what it boils down to. So um, you can literally take every lead that you get and put them onto a second list and you could wind up making two times the money. So pretty good deal for you. I'll give you a couple of examples of how you can do this because there's multiple ways you can do it. So one example, someone like V Shred could have their main kind of branded list for their own offers, their own products. And then they could create a second list, which might be something very generic, like fat loss tips for win women. There's kind of no branding on it, no mention of V Shred or anything like that. Um, and they could send affiliate offers. They could send their own offers. They could promote whatever they want to do. Another example, somebody buys a golf instructional video or course from Hank Haney. He's a very popular golf coach. Then they would also get put on some other guy's golf list. So I just put a name in here, Pete Duvall. I have no idea if that's a real person or not. But basically, you buy from one golf person, and now you're on two different golf gurus' list, uh, which is really smart in the golf niche because people that are into golf are like crack addicts about golf stuff. They want more and more, so they're always going to be reading stuff, watching YouTube videos. That's what they do. So they're not going to mind being put on two different lists that sending them information and instructionals and stuff about golf. Another good example, this is more of a adjacent list. So let's say you have a guy in his twenties, thirties, who's buying a course on how to get six pack abs. The majority of people in that niche, uh, are also people that are single and looking to date and meet women. So you could easily put them onto a man, uh, a men's dating advice list and I bet you you get a ton of them to buy stuff. Um, so that would be something that would not even be, like I said, it's not even in competition with the list because it's a totally different niche. So you're just using something that's, like I said, completely adjacent and it works well. Um, we did this with my health supplement company back in the day with survival list. Like a lot of the people on the health list bought survival stuff and a lot of the people on the survival list bought health stuff. So we, whenever they got added to one list, they just got added to the other as well. Uh, so super easy way to, like I said, basically get twice the amount of value out of everybody that you're putting on your list. And I'll give you a big bonus here. This will be really appealing to people who do not have lists. So if you currently do not have a list, uh, a smart thing to, for you to do would be to go to someone who has a list. Let's say they just have one list and you be the person that creates their second list and you manage it for them. Uh, and you wind up splitting the money with them. You could split it 50, 50, you could fit, split it 60, 40, whatever, whatever you guys agree to. But this is a really, really easy way to just quickly acquire a list. I mean, you could get a list of 10,000, 50,000, hundred thousand people doing this. And for them, it's a huge win because like I said, it's free money for them. They're not, if they don't have a second list already, just simply creating this second list is going to make them extra money, extra income every single month, and they don't have to do anything. And then for you, you could literally just pro promote affiliate offers. Uh, you could build you could build an entirely new business on that list with its own offers and its own guru and all that. It's really just up to you how far you want to take it. But 
if I was someone who was starting kind of from scratch right now and I did not have a list myself and I wanted to acquire a list quickly, this is definitely something I would look into. Um, yeah, you have to give away some of the equity. So you're splitting the money 50 50, but you're getting a pretty, me- you can get a pretty big list without having to do any of the work to actually build a list. So highly recommend doing that. Um, there are some kind of things you need to put in your terms and conditions. If you're going to do a second list that make it okay that you do this, but that's pretty simple to do. And if you just run it by any kind of competent lawyer, they will tell you what to put in there. But like I said, a lot of the biggest people in direct response do this. They, they do list splintering, they have second list, um, and it makes them a whole lot more money. So hope this is helpful for you guys. I'm about out of breath. Um, <laughs> One thing I'll say, if you want to, if you really like this content and you liked what I shared, if you want to learn more of my list building secrets, I'm doing a special training, a one day training on this next Wednesday, January 25th. Uh, I'm going to be revealing basically everything I know about how to build and grow a list full of people, basically people with money, not tire kickers, not freebie seekers, but putting people with money. So if you already have a list and you want to be able to add more people to it, If you're a copywriter or marketer who is doing client work right now and you always kind of wanted to have your own list, this is going to be for you. Or if you're kind of a person who you got a nine to five job and you're looking for something that you could do on the side where it takes maybe an hour a day, uh, building your own list is absolutely perfect for that kind of, that kind of model. That's exactly what I'm going to be teaching next week. Like I said, it's a one day training. If you go to listbuild123.com you will see the checkout page which is there's no like big sales letter or anything like that but just got this you can sign up um i think there's already been 60 70 people that signed up and i just released it this morning so should be a good group um yeah i would love to have you it's 197 bucks usually the stuff i do is fifteen hundred dollars thousand dollars five hundred dollars so this is a much more affordable thing. And even if you can't make it, um, you're going to get all the recordings. So if you're busy that day or you got to step away for any reason, you're going to have all the recordings so you can watch them at any time. So yeah, we'd love to have you join us. Uh, like I said, just go to listbuild123.com, uh, sign up and hope this was helpful for you. And I hope to see you on the training next week.